Okay. We are recording. And then I just gotta press the buttons. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Should be an easy world record since I lost nine minutes on the last one. Welcome to the stream, Modulate. That was a annoying time loss. Eh, I'm not on to a good rhythm yet. Pretty good rejuvenation. Minus three is just from uh, not getting rid of the mini games on the first two. Yeah, we can lose a few seconds here and there just because we're doing different loading mini games, and it doesn't mean we're actually gaining or losing time. Which is kind of unfortunate. There's no real way to adjust for that. You just hope you get approximately the same luck each time. Which of course means that the gold is always going to be few seconds faster than is really feasible on average. Damn. Every time. Welcome to the stream race attack, I think I'm reading that correctly. Or rack attack, I'm not sure. You have a raccoon emote, so I assume it's racka. font size on my Twitch chat right now is kind of small, so I'm not great at reading it, but I don't think I can really adjust it, unless I install a custom style plugin, which I don't really feel like doing right now. Not worth it. Falling behind on the loading new games so far. I think I only have three things. But that does mean I'm gaining time, which, you know, is maybe a good thing. Uh, no, no, this is not without glitches. Uh, this is very much so a glitched category. Uh, but you can beat it in under well under four hours. 
Uh, in fact, this is not the any percent category. This is the all brushes category, which means we have to collect every brush technique and every secret brush technique, so like the upgraded ones. Fortunately, we don't have too many digging minigames in this run. Three pangs. I'm not going to be reading Twitch chat too closely right now since the beginning section of this run it requires a lot of attention. Sorry about that, but I'll try and answer your questions whenever I can. Like, here's a good chance to read Twitch chat. This is a long, unskippable part. Playing Biochalk. The way you can move around in areas like this is kind of complicated. But yeah, you can just jump down from the mountain. Probably should have just restored there. Oh well. Uh, like this. That should be good. Oh, please. Need ink. Interesting. I clanked on the rock. As you can do that. Uh, we are going to. Okay, well. So, because we have to get every brush technique, we can't really skip huge parts of the game in this run. But we are going to use tricks that normally would. Uh, to explain things very vaguely. In any percent, uh, you can skip a lot of the game. Uh, in, there's two major skips in any percent that make any percent any percent, and those are uh, CC skip, which lets you skip the moon cave, and fire tablet skip, which lets you skip uh, the sunken ship and the imperial palace. Uh, and we are going to do CC skip in this run, but we're still going to go do Moon Cave just later. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. I'm choosing to read Twitch chat, so any mistakes I make are my fault. I'll focus when I really have to. For now, I can gain some free time just by playing a bit cleaner than the last run. This category isn't very well optimized. In fact, I would I would say even the any percent category, which I also have world record in, is not particularly well optimized. There's not a huge amount of competition for the fastest route. Ninety percent sure I lost dash already, so I'm just gonna go without. Slow, but whatever. There's also a bunch of other fairly major skips throughout the run, uh, but we'll talk to, about those when we get to them. So far we haven't really skipped anything. Uh, the only trick we've done so far is uppy thingy, which is how I got sunrise so quickly. Uh, but everything else we're mostly doing as intended. Uh, the first trick is going to be in, I think, about five minutes. Uh, yeah, Top Dog would be the closest thing to 100% category that we have, and it's under 9 hours. Uh, but it's, like, it 
the top dog category is based on the achievements which were originally introduced in the PS3 version and are in a few other versions as well. Uh, and those achievements have a few notable omissions, like you don't have to collect every weapon. So there isn't a like a true, unarguable, do everything possible 100% category. Uh, Top Dog is, is just the objective best definition we could have for a game like this. Since it is official. An official achievement. I somehow got Bloom to trigger early. Let's undo that. Now, this fight is kind of RNG. I could lose up to, I think, like 12 seconds here. Uh. Nice, we got the good RNG. Uh, there we go. Still not sure exactly how to do that optimally, but it's not that important since we only fight this enemy like this once. Uh, R3, the pressing in the right stick, in order to turn the camera around faster than uh, it's, is otherwise possible. And I'll do that in a few other places in the run where I need the camera in a certain place, because panning the camera around in this game is very slow, uh, compared with a game like Wind Waker, which has a very fast uh, C camera. This game is, is very slow. So usually you want to abuse the fact that the camera will uh, position itself automatically in certain ways, rather than having to move it around yourself. And here's our second Susano QTE. These always have the same pattern, so pretty easy. Hello, welcome Firestar Rocks. And here's the worst part, uh, this is ball pushing. The ball pushing physics in this game are less than stellar. Fortunately we can skip every ball push except this one. So we don't have to do the other ones. Alright, uh, missed it. Yeah, close enough. That was a less than stellar ball push. I wonder if I'll still save time. I think I had a bad fight last time. Bork. Okay, so here's the first real skip coming up here, and it's pretty minor, the save's about 30 seconds. Uh, we're going to skip this fight, which would be a repeat of the Yellow Imp fight that we had before. So this is Yellow Imp skip, and yeah, we just went around the trigger there by going along the wall. There's a bunch of... we actually did technically already skip a fight, actually. Uh, we skipped two fights in this tutorial area, uh, but those are so subtle. It's pretty easy to miss them. Uh, basically, you can just run around those triggers. This one, you have to actually do stuff to get around. Uh, here's another fight we're going to be skipping, the campfire fight repeat. It would be good to get demon fangs from there, but the fight is just not worth doing. Because we can get demon fangs from loading minigames so much faster. And to get loading minigames... Uh, whatever. To 
to get Demon Fangs from that fight, we would have to get another Exorcism Slip, which I don't think we could even get at this point. I don't think there are any others available. That's Bloom Shinshu. And now we're gonna go get Lily Pad. So Lily Pad is actually one of the brush powers you can skip in any percent. It's uh, it's only really required once, and we have a trick to skip it. But uh, we do need it in this category because it's part of the category definition. Uh, Eason's going to tell us here that we still have stuff to do in Shinchu Field, but we're going to ignore him. This loading mini game or this loading zone is incredibly long, so it's very worth doing the mashing minigame here. You can see I, I beat the skip, which is pretty unusual. And now we have to go bloom some trees, which is kind of annoying. They're not very responsive, as you can see. I'm gonna upgrade our ink here, because that instantly refills it. We're not going to bloom this tree. We're actually going to save that one for later. And we're going to do the turnips. So having bloomed those trees, we can now move on to the rest. Yeah, so the reason we skip blooming one of those trees early is so that we can use them to distract Kushi's mom, which saved time from having to power slash her, or like ink her, which is something I did once there. That's Uppy Thingy again, that's the trick. There we go, perfect. So I should save a fair amount of time here. And this is unfortunately a kind of an auto scroller. Uppy thingy is just the when I jump up the observation platform instead of going all the way around the mountain to get up here. Uh, saves about 8 seconds each time you do it. Assuming you don't mess it up. Which, it's pretty easy to mess it up since it's kind of precise platforming. It's a very silly trick. But it doesn't take that much to learn, so I encourage people to do it after their first few runs. When you're starting out though, it's kind of a pointless trick to learn since it's so inconsequential. And that'll be Water Lily, uh, which we will use only a few times, but it is pretty important. It does allow us to do a specific trick much later on that isn't possible without Water Lily, even though you can skip Water Lily. And now we have to buy some Steel Fist Sake. So Steel Fist Sake or SFS is one of the one of the better battle items. All of the battle items in this game, or like a few of the battle items in this game are very overpowered. And we'll be using them a lot to sort of cheese out bosses and enemies and stuff. So 
So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, we need to get Cherry Bomb. And to get Cherry Bomb, it needs to be nighttime. So we're going to go start the Wanted List side quest, which has a tutorial, and the tutorial automatically turns it nighttime. So this saves us a bunch of time waiting around. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool strats that are not very obvious when you're playing casually. This is Onimaru, that's bad luck, but I had the same one last time. It's the only time you have to learn or uh, be able to read the language that you're playing in. Really? Stump. Uh, I need to break you. That's a very silly fight. I think I'll lose time on that. Yeah, the way enemies are spread out at the start of a fight is random. So, you kind of have to hope that they cooperate. You can walk on the water a bit there, around the peninsula. So now we're going to head over to Tama's. We can mash jump while we're in the water to speed up. Uh, this is an enemy called the Dead Fish. Now we do have its flow of finisher, which is Power Slash, but it takes so long to kill it that we just don't bother. So we're going to Power Slash it three times, which... Kills it instantly. Pluck to him three times, and then we draw a quick cherry bomb. That's how you draw them. Yeah, I'm going to lose a few seconds. Nice. Ignore that treasure, even though it's fairly valuable. Do not like that guy's positioning. Uh, now we have one more thing to do in Shinshu Field before we can leave. Even though we could already leave, but we need to do these things in order to go fast. And that is, we need to open up the Mermaid Spring so that we can teleport back here later, which we'll be doing a couple times. This is something, this is going to be a bit of a common theme. One nice thing is that we now have Trey Bomb to fight these guys with which makes things a lot easier. Uh, lost the thing there. So didn't wait a fraction of a second longer. So you're going to see me mashing Bark at the end of a lot of fights, and that's specifically because mashing uh, the A button on this version uh, clears uh, the results screen faster by about a second each time, so it adds up. You can run in the water a bit there as well. There's a few places where there's like solid water tiles. It's interesting. Uh, here's where we would do lily pad skip if we had to, uh, but I find it's easier just to do this. No. Okay, that was very sloppy. I'm gonna lose a few seconds there.
than my 30 hour playthrough. My first playthrough was like 50 hours, dude. I still have the file for miscellaneous purposes. Okay, so here's how we fight Waka. As uh, a human, he's very vulnerable to explosives. I guess he's not technically human. Oop, lost my armor. But yeah, that's how you do that. The mashing A trick works even on the dialogues that are from bosses. Nice, we got a big fish first. Yeah, yeah. Nice, we got a lucky lobster. Oh, that's not gonna be. That's a small fish. So I'm not gonna get a lobster. Oh. Dang, the crab of bad omens. That is uh, sort of confusing. We've got a lucky lobster and a bad crab. Come on, quick, quick. Decent. Here we're gonna go get our second SFS. And then we're gonna go straight to Studio Runes. I got my actual dog working in the background there. Might be able to hear that. That skips the like 15 second intro cutscene for Tutorunes, which is nice. Uh, overall, Tutorunes is actually one of the less glitchy dungeons, or the less less broken. We don't have many big skips here; just a couple small things like that. I waited around there, so my ink would refill. Here we're going to skip this ball push by doing a cherry bomb on the switch there. That one's quite difficult to line up, so you don't always get it from far away. But that's good. Uh, now for these guys, we're going to use an SFS because we want one tray bomb to blow them up rather than having to do some uh, power slashes or uh, some finance room attacks afterwards. And that gets us some human things.
Nice. Let's uh, skip scrolling the mushrooms. Blockhead. Decent pattern. I should be able to just run around it. Yeah, okay. I didn't trust my line up there to do it in one stroke. Okay, now the triple gate room. I can gain or lose a bunch of time here just based up based on the spread of the enemies, because uh, there's three fights here and all of them require a good spread to go really quickly. So this is kind of RNG heavy, but usually it averages out since there's three different fights. Oh, I absolutely want to bomb there. So the reason we grow the mushrooms here is to make these poison pots appear. They don't exist until you grow the mushrooms. Uh, so even though we're not going to use those mushrooms, we actually have to grow them. Unlike the other mushrooms, which we could skip. But yeah, we're just going to do this here. Yep, got him. Excellent. Done that. But oh well. And now we gotta go get a vine. I don't know why I lost my momentum there. Still have dash. Weird. Time save. See if I can get this trick correctly. This is a really hard trick that only saves 18 seconds.
That looked good. Yeah, I think we're good. Excellent. That is called Cookie Clip, after Giant Cookie Jar, the legend who discovered that trick and a bunch of others that we'll be using later in the run. Wow. No, it's not with for this one. Maybe it is? Now we need to wait for our ink to recover, since we need all of our ink pots for this strat. That was slow, but it was on my last one too, so we're gonna not lose time here. got an infinity stone and now we're also going to go and uh, activate this mermaid spring. Mermaid springs, even if they exist already, aren't activated until you get up close to them and make them load. So we just have to go over here and then we can immediately turn around. And we'll be warping back here later, but only once. It just saves a heck of a lot of time. Yeah, for the bridge mini game, it always has the same pattern, so I just need to react to the timing. So, so I won't go for it. I should lose a couple seconds for that, since I didn't get the fastest version. to sell our fish and then buy a bunch of stuff. Because they sell for extra here. So we need four meats, uh, one small slip, and then seven of these. And that should be it. Now for Wakatu. Pretty good. 
In this particular category, it's important not to get hit on fights like those, because uh, the small amount of money you lose from the bonus for getting hit even once is uh, enough to throw off the money route later on, if it happens too often. Uh, one or two fights is okay, at least if they're not the specific wrong fights. But uh, too many fights that are that you lose the bonus on, and you'll have to get extra treasures, which wastes time. I haven't gotten any treasures yet, just because the early game treasures are not worth very much, but I'm going to get a few treasures in now. Oh, that was weird. I'm going to force the camera down here to make this go a bit faster. Yeah, we're losing more time. Hmm. No one. Seven seconds is kind of disappointing. So you're going to get this treasure, using a bit of a skip there. This is the tiger statue. That's worth, I think, 3600 yen, so quite a lot. Uh, at the moment in this segment, uh, because basically when we bloomed that tree, the uh, day cycle was reset. So there's now 5 minutes and 30 seconds left until night. Which means, uh, and because we need to, we, we need it to be night for the next thing we're going to do, which is uh, kill the cutters to rescue Chun so that we can get Water Spout. So, basically, since we need to wait for it to be night anyway, we're sort of locked in a cycle. We can't go that much faster than it. However, there's a bunch of things that pause the daytime, and so we need to minimize the amount of time we do those things. Uh, one of those things is loading minigames, but, you know, you're going to have loading minigames anyway, so you may as well do them. I'm kind of behind on Demon Fangs, but that's not a huge problem. <sighs> so, now we're in Ku Cursed Kusa, and we need to go to Princess Fuse. Unfortunately, right now we can't do floral finishers since we can't use our brush. Since it's still technically cursed.
You're going to do a cutscene skip. So if I did that correctly, yep. That skips seeing sleeping Susano, which saved about three seconds. Not a very big thing. Oh no, my dog is upset now. Where if you're in the wrong kind of animation, the food will not be accepted. First dog fight, these are similar to Waka, but they have a lot more complicated movesets, so you can lose a lot more uh, time to them for RNG reasons. Start. Good. Oh, I messed up one cherry bomb, which is my fault. But I got a good pattern there. So now that we've done those fights, we can go leave Kusa, and now we need to do a bunch of stuff in Taco Pass before nightfall, since we actually have some extra stuff that's that we need to get done. First order of business is we need to open up this mermaid spring, yet another one, and that's going to involve another devil trial gate, or well, just regular devil gate. to go do the Molster minigame, because we need to get Fireburst later, since that's part of the requirement. Where is he? to go bring this teacup back to the tea master and that'll get us a golden mushroom which we can later exchange for fire burst pretty much just a tiny little trading quest <sighs> yeah, so it looks like we should make good pace here 
The important thing is that we're on top of the Cutter's house before nightfall. Yeah, so this is perfect. We want to be here. Should be about five more seconds. Excellent. Alright, so fighting these guys is kind of weird. Good spur, please. Nice. Kinda slow, but you know, this fight's pretty hard. And here's June, so good music time. Should lose me about four seconds. be clever.
mediocre. I handle it okay, but it was a bad pattern overall. Sasana, watch out! Oh no, he's got his ear pods in. He can't hear us. God. This is going really bad. I'm gonna lose a bunch of time here. Hello? one hour mark. Here's another dog fight. Hopefully this one goes well. Let's start.
Dang, I really lost a bunch of time over that split. That's silly. Yes, more mash. Dude. I've had the worst dog luck in a long time this run. It's a miracle I'm still ahead, but I just lost fucking again. Shouldn't make a difference though. It's one of the fights where it doesn't matter as much. I still gain time? What the hell? Was my last run's fight that there that bad? Needs to check how many demon fangs I have. I should have something like 40 right now. Maybe 50. to 64 fangs. Should save about uh, 10 seconds on the split because my last run disabled the uh, letting the games here. If I remember correctly, anyway. My last one was really ahead on Demon Fangs. This run I had a poor rhythm and generally not as good luck on the, which ones I was getting. Should be sixty six. Probably because I lost Dash. 
in Frise's house. Examine the key. Oh, okay. Well, lesson learned. This elevator sucks. It's way too slow and you have to use it three times. Not cool. Losing it! I'm gonna lose a bunch of time on this split just because of sloppy play.
Okay. So. Now that we've defeated Crimson Helm, what we would do casually is go back to Shinshu Field. Uh, and that would start a sequence where we then go to the Moon Cave. For the, uh, you know, the Kamiki Festival and all that. Uh, but we're not going to do that because that's slow. So instead, we are going to go to uh, Ryoshima. Now you might be asking, how are you going to get to Ryoshima if the bridge is down? That's a good question. Uh, I'll show you in a couple minutes. I don't think this one's worth mashing on, actually. I might be misremembering. Wow, I lost a bunch of time on that split for no reason. Oh yeah, because of... Uh, loading minigames. That's why. I'm going to lose some time for that. And I'm going to lose even more time later. should have like 70 something by now, but I don't think I have quite enough to turn them off just yet. So yeah, we're gonna swim across the river. rock. It's not gonna work. No. Slow. That was decent. I might gain time here. Then we're going to use that rock to jump all the way up to the other side. So you can see there's no geometry back there. No back facing textures. Yeah, we're losing a lot of time very quickly. How many things do I have? It's only three. I had to check. I didn't want to wait to find out. Almost died. Please. You can skip the bottom or like the middle base in there. need one more fang before I can safely disable that. Alright, now we're going to go to the dojo, and as it turns out, the dojo is underground, so we just need to make our way under there. 
hopefully a decent pace. No, I must hit it. There we go. That was pretty slow. I don't think I'll gain any time. Yeah, so here's the dojo. It's right here. Really? All mashing minigames? If I get fruits here, I'm going to crash. On purpose. Nope. Incredible. All mashing mini games. <sighs> really, only about seven seconds ahead since I still need to turn off floating mini games once I get enough fangs. Was a cleaner than I skip at least. Although no, no, it wasn't. Lost my dash. All right, let's hope for a good spread on this one. I can lose or gain like 20 seconds. Might be good. Uh, I would not call that good. Okay, I can technically turn off loading minigames now. So I'll do it. Yep. There we go. Well, I just lost my lunch time. Okay, and now we're going to do a cool trick. As it turns out, there's lots of buildings that are hidden underground here, so we're going to go to one of them. So this restaurant here is not normally accessible from a uh, cursed Seon, because it's in the curse zone. But we can just fall right into it. And this guy's still here, which lets us get Fire Burst early. Before we're supposed to. The fact that I didn't lose 10, or like 15 seconds there is a testament to the fact that my last run did not have a very good early Fire Burst. And this uh, rice stew eruption contains 26,000 yen, which is quite convenient, because 
The Yen route is tight. Okay, so right now we have 75 fangs, 75 demon fangs. We need 80 to get mist warp. And there's exactly five that we can get, uh, like, with any reasonable ease, without turning back on the demon fangs. So I have to make sure I don't mess up any of them. Nice. That skips uh, lowering the bridge, which uh, skips a digging mini game and a fishing mini game. Quite a convenient trick. So you might have noticed earlier that I dug up a chest. In this game, when you dig up the chests, they stay dug up even if you didn't open them. So that chest is still there, and we're going to be passing through there later. And the reason I do that is so that I don't have to wait for it to bounce before I can open it. Because it has this little bouncing animation that stops you from opening it right away. I hear the sound effect a bunch of times. Then we can get this. Nice. Managed to keep our dash. And now we go to the sunken ship. Since we got Rao's prayer slips, we are good to go. Conveniently, we don't actually have to, like, uh, part the water. You don't have to be Dog Moses, because, uh, as it turns out, the sunken ship is wide open. very slow. Can normally get in here a lot faster. Dang. Okay, so now we need to go kill these guys. Hello?
So we can clip the camera through the ground here. Hello? Hello? That was very stupid. <laughs> this is so sloppy. Uh, anyway, we can clip the ca camera through the ground here, we raise the water while we're under this banister, which, uh, not banister, this doorway, which actually clips us through the ceiling, and then we can just skip the whole dungeon. It's actually one of two different ways to skip the whole dungeon. This dungeon is very broken. And you can just clip through the, back through the uh, floor at the end. Such a dumb way to lose time. For some reason, it just wasn't recognizing. I don't even know why. This run has had a bunch of dumb time losses. Like I play a bit cleaner than my last run, and I lose time for dumb reasons. And I end up just barely ahead. Brutal. Now I have to skip Uvme again. Which, you know, hopefully I don't mess that one up. Because that would lose me 30 seconds, roughly, assuming I handle it well. Nice. That was a quick skip. Now I need to remember to get the XL and Bullhorn. Oh boy. It's run. It's far from over. There's a large slip over here. Please. Slow, but whatever. You can clip through the floor there. That's all that you need to know. Just a bit precise for some reason. Bad. What? Okay, that's my fault. I should not have messed that one up. That was easy. Please? Oh my god, this is a disaster. Way to lose over 30 seconds. 36 seconds. Incredible.
That should be 80 fangs. If I counted everything correctly. use of fire burst blows up cherry bombs faster which is handy in a couple places Behind. I am actually behind. Incredible. This run kind of sucks. Jump too early. I have to wait. too much time there. It's okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, this is the fastest way to move as the Emperor. Remarkable. Let's go to South Sanctuary and do the digging mini game. Use an infinity stone for this digging mini game because we need to use a lot of Gale Storm and a lot of Cherry Bomb. Where is she? I've never seen her miss there before. Okay, now that we have the fire tablet, we can go see Queen Himiko. Now technically we can skip the fire tablet, but the trick is too hard to be worth doing in a run where you have to go to Imperial House anyway. Coming up is one of the first big mistakes I made last run. It lost me a minute. 
And that is forgetting to use the Mermaid Spring to leave after talking to Himiko. Save ten seconds on that spot, that's strange. Oh no. Didn't actually expect to get a dash restore there. Now is, now is the important bit. I need to go left instead of straight. This part's really important. Bit shaky, but I got it. Probably power slash him there, shouldn't I? I think that would kill him. Rather than having to walk up to him. I turned it day here since uh, I'm going to have to watch the day night cutscene anyway if I don't. And it makes it so that I don't have to avoid all of the scrolls. I should gain about a minute here. Like a minute 30 technically. Two XL, right? And four of these. Yeah, minute forty almost. Uh, but I'm going to lose about thirty seconds much later because uh, my last run used the used the mistake to get some extra treasures. Wasn't a good exchange, but it does mean that. <laughs> now we gotta go get catwalk. And this is one of the, everyone's least favorite uh, brush techniques. Uh, we have to jump. We have to press the jump button about 200 times to get to the top of this tower. And we're actually going to start here by doing a fight skip, which hopefully I don't mess up. It's a very subtle one. Let's see if you can catch what I'm going to do. Oh, mess it up. Fuck. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> I 
How much money is this? I'm gonna use this in any way. Yeah, I'm gonna lose maybe 30 seconds for that. That sucks. Or maybe close to like 15. Sloppy. <laughs> That's the stray bead. Camera here really sucks, by the way. Keeps taking away your dash no matter what you do, so you have to just keep tackling. <laughs> ah, losing time. seconds. Okay. Now for Watcher's Cape, and then Fishing, and then Dragon Palace.
Fuck it. What? I didn't see that. Uh, that's not gonna matter, but that was a waste of ink. Or, uh, praise. Waste of time, really. I did not mean to upgrade my health. Hi, yo. Fishing time. Starfish. I think starfish is the least valuable fish you can get here. And clownfish is also not very valuable, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Yenrod is made to capture that. Kamagaro. I think that's how you say it. Look, it's Oni Island. That place with the big skips. The only time they pull a the old Kepra Gebra on you here is when this lady tries to tell you her story more than once. Every other time you can usually just mash all the way through. Okay, I have to remember to use my infinity stone here.
Yeah. That's the sound she just made. Okay, the water's here, but now we need the swirly whirly. You get home. to its nose. And because we did that poltergeist fight earlier, I think the best treasure to omit is going to be this crystal. So this is an Infinity Sun and behind it is a crystal in one of those pearls and I'm going to skip it since I already have the 5,000 yen I need for it. I'm not playing very well right now. That is basically the synopsis of the run.
Alright, let's hopefully get a good dragon escape. I.e. no RNG, please. Fuck. Well, oh, that's a good rate to lose. 15 seconds. Wait, how come I didn't take damage from that? That's weird. I still have full health even though I get hit. Simple segment. Sorry I don't have much to talk about. Uh, if anyone has any questions, I can certainly answer. But the gist of it is that we're right now we're just going to Seon to rescue Himiko. Except Himiko's gonna be dead, as my splits have already spoiled. So we have to fight Furry Rao. Good luck. Thank you, Shantak. Remember Power Slash? Uh, do you mean like Power Slashing the, the chest? So I can remember that. slash three. Uh, I don't think I'll forget that, but uh, it's a bit early for that reminder anyway. So, 
basically we killed the water dragon, but the water dragon was the one who stole the Amazon Prime shipment for her fursuit, which is why she has it now. Oh my goodness, the double roll. Oh fuck, uh, that could be really bad. Hello? This is not going well. That was a terrible fight. And I got hit. Uh, how much money am I losing from that? Probably like 10k. 6k. Um. Well, I should be fine. I shouldn't need a backup for that as long as I do well on uh, Nine Tails. was a dumb fight. I got really unlucky there. It was like the worst pattern I've ever seen. Okay, now we lose 30 seconds, roughly. So we're going to be about a minute ahead by next split. Or well, we won't know next split, but, you know, hypothetically speaking. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my fucking god. This run is a joke. Well... I can't believe I hit that trigger. Let's see, got that first try. And that first. 
first try. Nice. Should start losing time pretty soon. Well, I didn't lose as much time as I expected. Thought it'd be only like 40 seconds ahead. So I guess that's a good sign. We just have to play the rest of Oni Island cleanly. I don't know why that happens sometimes. I really love when my trade bombs don't work. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. We got it. No biggie. Just like a 10 second cutscene. Not a biggie. Hello? That was a terrible split. Absolutely awful. 25 seconds lost on a very short split, too.
bugs me. the cycle because of that. Please. <laughs> Things are not going in my favor right now. The game is very much so fighting me right now. I should be well over a minute ahead at this point. Just like automatically, but I've just been playing very poorly. What? Hopefully the Ninetales fight does not go terribly this run like it did last time. Okay, this is the part where I can lose time, basically, if I don't hit these tray bombs. And there you go, that's one of them. Uh, well, there you go. That's the big time loss, because my tray bombs don't... what? Oh my god, this is such a disaster. I do not like this run at all. So many things are going wrong for no reason. I can't understand why. Uh, 
now I lost my money, which means now I'm going to have to get a bunch of extra, just like I did last run, which was one of the things I was hoping to save a lot of time on, and I'm only 15 seconds ahead. The only reason this run is going to PB is literally because I'm not going to forget Power Slash. Christmas glitch one. Okay. No. Not again. Not this time. the game fighting me so much. Okay, anyway. Merry Christmas glitch number two. Time. thousand three hundred forty yen back if I remember correctly or is it sixty thousand five hundred thirty something like that one of those two
Okay. Now we go drown. Spinny spin spin. I call this the toilet orb. And we're here. We're here. Come on. Okay. Good. And now, now that we have all of that crap out of the way, finally, we're gonna go do the moon cave and fight Mr. Orochi. Shinshu. Right, that's all we have to do. I forgot, we don't get a second gold dust in this route. Now you might be curious, we have Mist Warp, so why don't we just Mist Warp directly to Kamiki and avoid having to watch all these cutscenes? Well, the answer is we can, and it would save 40 seconds. However, if we then caused it to become night during or while in uh, Shinshu after Moon Cave, we would get locked into Eternal Night. And when we went to bloom the Kamui sapling, it would soft lock. So yeah, that that would be no bueno. However, we can use Mist Warp to save a bit of time here by skipping saving Kushi. So yeah, we're not gonna pick up Kushi. We're just gonna warp directly around her and go to the Moon Cave. Catch that music. Guess who it is? The voice crap. It's Kushi. Meh. Okay. So the main reason why we do things this way, why we do Moon Cave so much later, is a we have uh, a more powerful weapon, which saves a bit of time in each of the fights, and there's a lot of fights in here. And b. Uh, we save time by skipping basement floor one, which we can only do because we have double jump. Uh, that's a waste of time. You can skip that text if you do that correctly. Oh well, rip time save. Speed dot.
So the Moon Cave is probably the most broken single dungeon in the game, besides Sunken Ship, which isn't a real dungeon. <sighs> Rip dash. To start. Uh, you can actually do this without a double jump, but it double jump just makes it easier. But yeah, you can already vine up to the merchant from the bottom floor, which... So <laughs> Someone in QA really needed to pay closer attention on that one. Good luck, Minzy Cat. It's never too late. So here's the first big thing. Uh, we can get out of bounds here. Then we can use this tray bound to get these things stuck on. Then we can clip through the wall here because there's no collision. And now we're in basement floor two. And now we're at the Inferno Statue. It's one of my favorite sequences in this run. You get to do that in, uh, in the beginner's ride as well for any percent, because those tricks all work without double jump, but just a bit harder. Okay, now we wait 30 seconds. Strip your hands. Oh, that's my dash. Yeah, it is pretty weird. <laughs> they probably should have been more careful there. But I imagine that they didn't think it would be that useful since the Trayvon would just blow up right away. They overlooked the fact that uh, they completely messed up the scripting on it. And you can just get them stuck on without having to leave the Trayvon there. And even if you, they didn't mess that up, 
Uh, they also overlook the fact that you can uh, use Water Spout to cut the fuse on the Cherry Bomb. Which allows you to just leave it there indefinitely, and that also works. That's actually the backup strat if you fail the the stuck on switch strat. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have all the ingredients yet. We're missing two of them, so we're gonna go back upstairs. Am I high enough? No, nope. to go again. There we go. Can skip a fight there. And then here's a place where Fiber saves a bit of time, avoids that uh, ball pushing puzzle. Got hit there. To skip this fight again. Then we can go down here. Now that we already have Inferno, we don't need to go downstairs. the last of the ingredients. Now you might be asking, how are we going to get back to the main hall? Because the bridge is going to collapse as soon as we try to cross it. And that's a very good question. This is what I was talking about before when I said there's a, uh, a double jump exclusive trick. You can just jump around the trigger that makes it collapse. Like so. Just barely made it around there. That was actually kind of risky. Oh, rip that. I'm not getting that one, I guess. This is looking to maybe be a uh, three three thirty six, maybe three thirty five. Run. Why do you power slash the bell? You need to hit it eight times, and power slashing it counts as a hit, which is faster than just repeatedly air tackling it. Uh, but you also want to air tackle it because you know you can't constantly power slash it; you'll run out of ink. 
kind of want to go to the bathroom, but there's no good bathroom breaks in this run. At least not for me. So I wonder what I should do. I could just eat the time loss. Let's at least do Orochi. This is the most complicated boss fight in the entire run. By far. Did I miss a split? No. Uh, this is for damaging the bell on Orochi's back, not the bell. Not the Epicurean bell that's in the main hall. make sure that uh, earth activated first and not poison because otherwise I uh, get locked out of the two cycle so I'll split here that's where that split activates then we use an infinity stone I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna eat the minute minute time loss that it takes. Uh, just what's a good time? Speed on the bathroom. That's dangerous, my friend. Not good for your health. I think I'm going to do it here during the loading zone, because the loading zone's pretty long.
this. Okay. Let's see how much time we lose on this. I can actually save a bit of time on this segment uh, from not messing up one of the races, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that. I'll probably still lose like 30 seconds at least. Yeah, so I can usually get through a run like this without any bathroom breaks. But sometimes, you know, your, your kidneys decide they want to filter a bit more blood than they're supposed to. Or, well, at least then you'd prefer. Barely got that one. Yeah, basically. I don't know how much more runs I'm going to do of this category, but whoever does them will get that time save. Kidneys are a fat PV. I don't know, man. Well, rip. Rip time saves. I don't know if I'm even going to be ahead after that. Yeah, the margin for error on this race is kind of small, it's annoying. I'm not a huge fan of this strat, but there's no better way to do it. Even casually, those races are kind of dumb. They probably shouldn't have made them like that. What do you get from this, from the races? You get uh, an item called the Gimmick Gear, uh, which is just a trade item. You trade it uh, to Gen in, say, Aristocratic, and that lets you get the... Uh, Thunderbolt's brush technique, which uh, is obviously required. There we go. Yeah, we're losing time. Lots of time, actually. There's a longer bathroom break than I thought. And I'm also losing like 20 seconds from collecting the treasure I just collected. Which I'll gain back in Conway since I won't have to collect some of the treasures I decided to collect in the last run. I think this one might just be better. Just to get one treasure instead of like three. Yeah, I really wish I did not mess up Nine Tails. That was demoralizing. Oni Island in general just really didn't go my way this run. Except for the start. Like, everything up to Thunderstorm was fine, and everything else sucked. Wow, we're losing a lot more time than I expected. Is it like a two minute bathroom break or something? Yeah, basically. More than two minutes. But that's fine, we can still PB. We'll PB by like, eight minutes. Okay, so here we're going to do a big skip. I can do this correctly. Very trippy glitch. It's called a brush adventure. It let's us break the bounds of the camera. Yep, that's not good. And we can bring the brush all the way under the tree. And now I need 
Let's get closer. Should be fine. I've done it from here before. Really, this is not going well. Uh, well, uh, rip, rip my camera adventure. That was very inconvenient. That's not supposed to happen, by the way. It's supposed to go a lot more smoothly than that. It's all around here, right? Should be fine. Dang, I don't like this. I should maybe practice this more. That's what's supposed to happen, and it's not supposed to take two minutes to do it. It's supposed to do it a lot faster than that. Eh, well, whatever. I've stopped caring since I took the bathroom break. This is gonna be sub 30, whatever I do. So I may as well just play really badly. <laughs> eh, whatever. This is not a very good attitude as a speedrunner. skip a required battle with an igloo turtle, which is not a very hard enemy to fight, it's just kind of slow. So we can do this and it's a bit faster. We need to sell everything. Gives us just enough money. I like when my tray bombs register. What was I doing wrong? Tray bomb this run has been absolutely awful in terms of recognition. Like, at all the worst times too, like especially on Nine Tails. That's why I lost the money there.
is it called Blue Raspberry Bomb? Because uh, the first one's called Cherry Bomb, obviously. Uh, here, that's the one I want to be. It was Cherry Bomb, Watermelon Bomb, and Blue Raspberry Bomb. That's what they're called. doing right now. Please. Terrible movement. And of course I lost my gold dash. Please. The game is not cooperating. Please?
My god, that was slow. I'm not even that rusty. Like, the last run was only a few days ago. I don't know why things are going so poorly this time. Like, nothing's working this run. There's honestly a, a possibility this run won't even sub 3, or sub 3, 3, 340. Just because of the sheer magnitude of the errors I've made. If I continue to make them. Okay, now for the 30 minute skip, one of the oldest skips in New Game. No, I won't forget Power Slash 3, but thank you, Minzy Cat. You got that. Nice. That's a new one. I've fallen through those gears in a lot of different ways, but that is not one of them.
Okay, now we can save about a minute if we don't mess up Nechkuske. The thing is, I didn't really practice Nechkuske since the last run, so we might still mess it up. But this trick is kind of really hard. It's one of the hardest tricks. How you do it. Okay, well, we didn't mess it up. That's how you save almost a minute. segment was at least good. Oh, that's not good. Uh, ink upgrade. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> Just don't be bad. Yeah, good advice. Thank you. Thank you, Firestar Rocks. I really appreciate it. No. Please? Thank you. Okay, now is the question. Do we have enough money? It's very possible that we don't. I don't need to do that. One of these, one of these, and we should be good. Yeah, we have just enough money. We have 9k more than we need. Which means every treasure I got, or like getting that Katani pottery was the right thing to do. Although maybe I could have gotten the faster treasure because I didn't need all 12k of it. Now we get power slash three, right? Don't want to forget that. <laughs> and here's the important part. I need to, I, I've actually adjusted my auto splitter a bit since last run to make sure or to to try to make sure that if I forget on the slash or if I forget power slash three that the next split won't work by changing what one of the split images is. So hopefully that split image works because it's a new split image and I don't know if it'll recognize properly. Here I need to make sure not to do the Merry Christmas glitch, because if I do, I'm actually screwed. Like, I'm completely boned. If I do, I have no way of getting the money to make up for it. That should be it. And that's how you save over 8 minutes. And that is every brush technique. Deluge, Thunderbolt, Fire Burst, 
Gale Storm. No, 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 not Gale Storm. War Whirlwind. Whatever. We have a bunch of them, basically. Do almost slipless arc. Be inside the warp. Hope not. Nice. Ah, uh, should be good. Should be just outside of it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. time. One of the last places things can go really wrong, although I should be fine. Remarkably, the, the slow strat for Orochi leaves a lot more room for error on phase two, which means it's much less likely you'll lose like a minute on phase two, whereas, uh, but you can still lose a lot of time on phase one because the strat is the same basically. The triple head. That's how it's supposed to go.
Hello? Hello? Oh, he's dead. He's stupid. That was a waste. <laughs> Didn't get the pork. Unlucky. This strat is fun. Watch me spam. One infinity stone, two bosses. Yummy. Okay, and Nine Tails is the last place I can really lose time, but hopefully it'll be okay. At this point, everything's gone fine. Eh. So yeah, the strat for Nine Tails is going to be basically the same as on. Oni Island, except now we have Power Slash 3, so the spirits go a bit quicker, and uh, Ninetales' final form is actually, like, has half the health of the Oni Island version for some reason. Her box is so huge. 
So it's not exactly obvious why that word happens. I got the bark. Did you guys hear that? Little intercut scene bark. Okay. That makes it all worth it. Now we need to go buy ourselves some, uh, Heavy arms. Some live munition. You catch my drift. Exorcism slips. So yeah, uh, if, if it wasn't obvious to all of you newcomers, Yami is a bit of a pushover. This is basically a, a six minute auto scroller where we just nuke the boss at the right moment. So yeah, this is a good time to uh, talk about the run, since everything's pretty much set in stone at this point. Overall, this run kind of sucked. I'm not happy with this run at all. Uh, the only reason this run is going to sub 340 is literally because I did not forget Power Slash 3. Uh, but you know, that's okay. Just because... The run sucks doesn't mean I can't be happy with how far this category has come since I started running it. I'm pretty sure at this point I have no more like major route changes to make. Like, as based on what we know about the game, the route is fine. There's no major adjustments left to make. The all of the yen routing is pretty much fine. As long as you don't mess up nine tails like I did, all of the like movement is good. All of the all of like the concepts work out. The skips are nice too. Like everything is pretty much set in stone until we discover more about the game. Nuke the orb. Yes, that is the strat. Here's my favorite part. In which we rig the slot machine. Three, four, so we have uh, performed some percussive maintenance on this slot machine, and now it'll do exactly what we want. Please. As long as I don't miss my power slashes. That is... Gale Storm. Thank you. 
I got hit. Nice. And one more. And that is Bell Fist. So like, this run, even if I didn't take a bathroom break and completely mess up Oki Skip, this run still kinda sucked. Uh, like, I made a bunch of big mistakes at a lot of different points in the run. Or like, it's more so that I made a bunch of small mistakes and they added up to a lot. Like, I should not have... I should not have been so barely ahead going into, like, Imperial Palace, right? I should have had a lot more of a lead. But, you know, just making small errors, not moving optimally, uh, some tricks going slower than I would have preferred, uh, not doing perfectly on the loading minigames is another one. My last run had better loading minigames overall. So, you know, a lot to improve on from this, but for the first uh, sub 330 run, I think this is, or sub 340 run, I think this is fine. music by the way. That is everything. That is Okami. New game, all brushes. Every single brush technique. Collected and beaten the game in a grand time. I'm stalling here. Of 338.42. That is the new world record. First sub 340 time. It would have been last run, and last run actually would have been a lot better than this run. Uh, it's not for the fact that. Uh, it's not for the fact that last run I forgot power slash 3, which cost me like 9 minutes to retrieve. Yeah, GG's. What is the current best possible time in this category? I don't know what the best possible time is, since I'm the only runner, so we don't have a whole lot to draw off of. Uh, my sum of best is, I think, 325 now, probably going to be after this run. I can show you. Uh, let me just save my splits, actually. I can let me take a picture, because I love myself some pictures. Uh, yes. Oh, wait. I have to... There we go. There it is. This goes in the Discord. First run of the new year as well. Thank you for the congrats, Minzy Cat. Yeah. Basically, if I were to continue running this category, and I might, I'm not sure if I'll actually go for this goal, but if I were to continue running this category, uh, my goal would be sub 330, because that's definitely humanly possible, and it would be a good time. Like, it would definitely be a good run that got to that point. The only issue is, uh, I've been running this game for a while, and I'm starting to feel the burnout. So, having gotten this milestone, I might just, you know, go ahead and let someone else do the rest. Uh, I'll clean up the route document. Uh, and explain everything better, but overall, like the route's good. I know the route is good. It doesn't really need to be worked on anymore. Uh, the category is fun. All the glitches are neat and unique. Like this strat has, or this this category has so many unique strats 
from uh, New Game and New Percent, and even from Top Dog. Uh, like, because this this run or this this category is the most restrictive on Yen, which means especially for like boss fights and stuff, you are the most restricted in when it's viable to use battle items, like exorcism slips. So all of the almost all of the boss fights you do a unique strat for that you don't do in any other category because it's only worth it here where things are really down to the wire. 